I'll be tip, tip. Okay, shit. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, I've got. Hey, hi, hello, team. My name is Monique. We are at the end of April somehow, and I don't know how it happened, but I somehow read 15 books in April. Welcome to a different kind of cauldron today. In case you didn't know, this is Book Rich Reviews, where I usually review books. But in the month of April, I took part in the Magical Readathon, aka My Owls, which is held by G over on Book Row. It's basically a month-long readathon where you do prompts, you choose a career. It's delightful. I will uh, link uh, G down below because in case you didn't know about this, but you should because if you're following me, I have somehow vlogged throughout the entirety of April. It's a surprise as much to me as it is to you, but I did do a little bit of reading, aka 15 books. Way to fucking go, Monique. In the beginning of the readathon, you choose a career that you would like to progress towards, and I decided I wanted to do and be a herbologist, aka plant mama. Look at my cute little plants. I have a lot of them. I fucking love them. And also, it didn't have very many prompts. It didn't have, it didn't have. Anyways, it only has three prompts. It has care of magical creatures, it has potions, and it has herbology. Of course, because it's a herbologist. But I somehow read all three of these prompts. Ta-da! As I did vlog throughout the entirety of April, I am not going to go too deeply into each of these books because there are a lot of them, but I am just gonna give you a brief a little bad summary. So, for potions, I read Livers Oxford by Philip Pullman, which is a short story set briefly after the events of the Amber Spyglass, which is the third book in his Dark Materials, which is one of my all-time favourite series. Basically, in this series, we follow Lyra and we follow Pan, who is her daemon, in this sort of alternative universe to our own, where each person has a animal companion which is the personification of that person's soul and Lyra gets into some hijinks because she has a friend and he gets abducted and she goes on an adventure and there's portal magic and worlds and it's just, it sounds incredible and it is and also this little short story literally hurt my heart and I fucking loved it so much. Next up I read uh, magic steps or make his getrin for the prompt of herbology where the prompt had to be that you had to read a book that starts with an m this was surprisingly hard this book i'm not going to go too far into but this is part of the Ma circle of magic series or technically it is part of the sequel companion quartet the sequel quartet to the circle of magic because i decided that midway through a readathon i was going to make my own readathon i was going to make a circle readathon and i decided that i wanted to read tamara pierce's her uh, books and you have maybe heard me talk about her briefly in passing but this book is the first one in the second quartet and then i read for care of magical creatures with the prompt it has to have a beak undercover i read witches of ash and ruin by e latimer this is a lgbt ya magical realism book with witches which is delightful but basically we follow especially two girls uh, from rival covens as they get sort of intertwined with a murder plot by a guy whose name is the butcher of manchester interesting and we sort of just take it from there and there's some sort of enemies to lovers feels and some good like queer stuff but yeah so those are three of my first prompts then i also decided to do the course of wanting to be a dragon tamer trainer and to do that you have to be a magic zoologist with the additional prompt of reading a dragon book and luckily enough, these two like careers lie right on top of each other. So my three first books, so Potions, Herbology and Mag Care of Magical Creatures, are all in the Magical Zoologist as well. Plus the Charms prompt, which is to read a book with a white cover. And for that, I read Sword in the Stars by Amy Rose Capetta and Cory McCarthy. And this book is the sequel to Once and Future, which is a gender bent sci-fi retelling of king arthur aka female author better kings and an age backward merlin it's delightful it's queer it's so incredibly camp and there's there's some stuff here and 
I really enjoyed it. It's an old prompt of reading a dragon book. I read uh, Temerie, Temer. I keep calling it Temer and I don't think that's actually how you say it, but I did read it and it's by Naomi Novik. And very briefly, this is basically the Napoleon War with dragons. We follow a naval officer who becomes a dragon rider accidentally he is the classic like epitome of a navy man he's like a gentleman women are soft and beautiful and he loves them but they don't necessarily need to be involved in violence and he gets his life put on its head and i honestly like i didn't think i would love this as much as i do and i really need to get the rest of the series so that i can read it. next up because i am an absolute overachiever i decided that five prompts weren't really going to be enough for me so i um also decided i wanted to be a librarian so plant librarian that's what we're going to go with the uh, librarian career has five prompts it is ancient runes awesomeacy uh, Defense Against the Dark Gods, History of Magic, and Transfiguration. So, for each of these prompts, I had a delightful little time. I chose some books. I didn't stick with them. I went the other way, but oh well. We start off with Transfiguration, which is the uh, prompt where you have to read a book with shifters in it. I continued on my delightful little reread train, and I decided to read Written in Red, by Anne Bishop, which is another one of my all-time favorite authors. This is an urban fantasy uh, novel, which deals with yeah, many a shifter, lots of horror, a blood prophet, and it's just generally just one of the most amazing books. And I have read it so many times in my lifetime, and I just finished it the other day and I wanna read it again. So that's just who I am. Next up, we have Ancient Runes, where the prompt is to read a book with a heart on its cover. And I had a really hard time finding a book, but I ended up going out with this. This is Dropkick Romance by Cyrus Parker. It is a collection of poetry, basically around heartbreak and then about mending that heartbreak with someone else. It is cute. It's I have a really hard time rating uh, poetry, but it wasn't my favorite, but there is a little heart on it, and that's what counts. And I read it. I read uh, Arithmacy, where the prompt is to read something outside of your favorite genre. And if you have noticed, my favorite genre is fantasy and sci fi, and I decided to run with some poetry. And for this prompt, I decided to read Great Goddesses by Nikita Gill. This is a stunning uh, collection of uh, poetry and sort of almost short stories inspired by. Greek myths and monsters and it's just it puts everything on its head we have LGBT like it's not my favorite one of hers but it definitely gave me a ton of like inspiration it is all illustrated inside and generally I just I've yet to find another poet who speaks so closely to my heart so another one bites the dust then we get into some more of my little circle readathon with the two first books of the Circle of Magic series. And I, of course, didn't just read them. I read the whole quartet. But especially the first two books are filling out prompts for um, Defense Against the Dark Arts, which is a book that is set around or by the sea. And for that, I have the Weather Witch or Werehexen. And then we have the uh, History of Magic, where the prompt is to read a book with witches or wizards. And for that, we have the Magic in the Weaving slash the uh, Spirat Zirglings Temple, which is the first book. So this is the first, this is the second, and this is the third and the fourth. And these all follow four preteens as they learn about their magic for the first time in this very encompass in encompassing what encompassing a fantasy world where we grow and learn and they find fine family and just just everything good in middle grade magic this is it this is the good stuff this is yes okay this is my stack of owl books hooray delightful there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten books here then i, I read an additional five books you know just to just to just to enjoy myself so i read the two next books in the circle of magic series i read the third book in the second quartet which is called street magic then i started out my month by finishing ninth house which i was doing a buddy read for with some of my friends from bookstagram 
And then I read one of my most anticipated releases of the year, which is Bonds of Brass by Emily Skrotsky, which is a space opera with gay baby boys. There's friends, there's found family, there's intense amount of teenage angst and feelings. And I just have a lot of feels about it. And that, my friends, is what I read in April. I can't, this is gonna drop on me. Tip, tip. Okay, shit, okay. It's fine, everything is fine. Oh God. Everything is fine. Basically, that's it team. That's the whole, that's the stack. Thank you so much to G for holding the uh, magical readathon. I had a really, really nice time doing it. I read about it last year and didn't really think to take part. And then this year it is just taken over my life. And even though I went off course, I did stick with it. And I am super excited to take part in even more readathons as my booktube journey sort of continues and I continue making even more friends in the book community. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please hit that like button. It looks like a little thumbs up and hit that subscribe button at the same time, just in case, because you know, if you weren't already following, why wouldn't you? Like, this is not my normal background. The people next to me have really loud kids uh, or really loud TV. I don't fucking know. You could sit in front of my TPR shelves instead. So let me know down in the comments if you've taken part in the Owls this year. Did you have a favorite book? Or just let me know if there are any of these books that you want to read. If you want to know any more of my like more intense feelings about any of these, I will be linking all of my vlogs for April down below. And then I will just see you guys really soon because we all know that I can't stay away because I just love you guys so much. I'm closer to the camera now. Hope you're all enjoying yourself, taking care of everything and drinking a lot of water because that's quite important. All right. I'll see you all very soon. Love you. I'm proud of you. You're doing great.